Keeping up with technology is hard. There's too much information to keep track of. It's time for a simple and straightforward approach. It's time for IT Insights. Hey Dave, how are you doing today? Good, Xavier. I'm great. Nice to be here at HPE Discover. Yeah, this is a fantastic day, isn't it? So Dave, you're working in one of the largest colocation companies in the world. How do you see your customers moving towards digital transformation? You know, the key to our customers' digital transformation is the fact that they need to be connected to multiple clouds, multiple providers, multiple other businesses. And really the key to the Equinix business is interconnection and that global fabric of, of networks. And we hear from our customers a lot that that's really why they came to Equinix in the first place and why the cloud providers did. Yeah, and, and you have cloud providers, but you also end user customers. Uh, how have you put uh, the partnerships with them in the right place? We really work with a lot of the cloud service providers and then the, the network service providers to really position the enterprise customers who are using all of them anyway. And we use them to, the, the cloud service providers especially, to position us to those customers as where they need to be to yeah. achieve their goals. So they are a vehicle for you to go to, to the end user customers. Yes, that? yes. Yeah, so it was amazing because we started to work together one year ago. I remember very well when we yeah. decided to, to jump in the story together. And um, why did you join Cloud28 Plus? You know, we, we've been talking to some other vendors and we have our own website properties, but as we looked and, and we talked more with you and your team around Cloud28 Plus, we really discovered that it was a great vehicle for amplifying not only the Equinix message, but the message of the, of the service providers and the partners that we work with who are also on the platform. Because we kind of look at ourselves, like HPE does, as, as foundational. Partnership first. Absolutely, yeah. Yeah, so, so, so this is a, good, uh, a very good uh, insight. So what you decided to do is to use Cloud Antier Plus for yourself, but also for your partners, correct? Right. To correct. give them the voice on the market, and in order they can have more reach on the market. And, and we've kind of made it a two-way um, thing in the sense of saying, not only do we try to amplify our own message and our partners' messages, but we try to look for for partners and service providers that we can partner with more through Cloud28+. Plus. Yeah, and so the way you, you, you shaped your, uh, your, your journey with us on Cloud28+, Plus has been in different phases. So uh, I remember you started to onboard your different uh, right. subsidiaries, you know, that they are on Cloud28+, Plus, yeah. and then you prepared. And you right. prepared on one topic that you wanted to do, which was? Uh, I think it was, it was at the Azure stack. stack, yes. The Azure Stack. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. And uh, we, started, uh, we started together in APAC uh, a bit on trying to, to see how it was. And what you did was that you started to publish a lot of content. Right. So thought leadership content for you is the key to drive the demand, isn't it? It really is, uh, because we've, we've seen this so many of the topics that a lot of other companies are putting out there aren't really covering some of the basics that are overlooked. And one of those basic things is the fact that uh, most enterprise networks aren't prepared for the volume of data that they're going to be both collecting through IoT and pushing up to the public cloud, or just for the cloudification, if you will, of their business. And um, so being able to get that thought leadership out there around what we do with networks and how we interconnect the world and, and how that's such a critical role. And even use a thing that we call the interconnection oriented architecture. Exactly. Um, we found it to be great. It's, it's the more, it, it's kind of the old TV theory, right? More eyeballs on you, the better you are. Yeah, and uh, you segmented it a bit by verticals to drive the things, but you prepared. Right. And you prepared during three months with a very rich editorial. We amplified it through the social media right. and we linked it to your offering. And at one point of time, uh, let's say in February, March, we decided to press the button right. to launch your offering on the market. Right. So what have been the results out of that? The results have been dramatic. Uh, we, just in the first 90 days, we had over 5,000 hits on the various pages. Uh, and, and based on that then, and the amount of traffic that got versus even what, was, what some of our own properties were driving, we decided to then go with the Spotlight page offer. Oh yeah, the all Spotlight pages. Yes. So, so the Spotlight pages that we designed and we launched on the market now for our partners, uh, in order they can aggregate everything around, right. not only their offering, but their own ecosystem mm -hmm. and their uh, articles they publish right. in order with one unique URL, you can reach everyone on the market. Right. 
Yeah, right. this is, this is uh, how we believe that we can help the different companies, partners, MSP, service providers, to re-embrace the digital as you have been embracing it with, with right. Cloud28 Plus, correct? Right, absolutely. It's, it's all part of the, it's, it's interesting in that Equinix is, is all about interconnection and co-location, but really in a, in a almost metaphysical sense, Cloud28 Plus is about interconnecting with partners. Exactly. It was amazing today. We had another meeting and uh, we have been launching uh, on supporting, not launching, but supporting the launch of a, another company, a startup, Immersion4. Yeah. And immediately you connect it together. Right. That was a, a good example. And we have another one on which we are working on top of the Azure stack with uh, some more uh, specific uh, edge data centers right. on cages right. with other technologies. So, so we see a lot of developments in, uh, in all of that. Do you believe that uh, at the end of the day, this is only in a region that it will happen or is it across the world that this movement will take? It's worldwide. It's, it's, worldwide. it's really worldwide. The, the idea there is that the, the global economy is the digital economy and, and businesses are having to connect with businesses all over the world on a constant basis. Even to the point where we've introduced the uh, Equinix Cloud Exchange Fabric, the ECX exactly. Fabric, which then interconnects all our data centers through the cloud exchanges so customers can get on in one place and go to another place within a region. Which is fantastic. And eventually, you know, that'll probably be global. No, no pre-announcements here, yeah, but that, that's yeah, coming. You will be global, and for the partners themselves, you know, they need to be global also. And uh, when we are discussing with a service provider, let's say in Japan, right. who wants to reach the European market, they can find to Cloud and Plus the right service providers right. to partner with, and they can be in your data That's centers. Right. That's right, they can be in any region and, and reach out to partners in different regions, be able to do it. The other nice thing is they have one place then to go exactly. to, to get everything they need, which is, which is a struggle for a lot of customers today, is, is they, they have to find different partners for this and that, and they're working through, they can find partners that can cover all of that, that include Equinix and HPE under the covers, and it, it gives them that, that easier route to manage. Things. And a trusted one, because Absolutely. they are certified. These right. are the different partners of the community are certified yep. by Hewlett Packard Enterprise within the HP Partner Ready right. Program, right. which means they have the capability to deliver. Right. And uh, for you, that's the same. It is giving an insurance that it will be delivered for your end user customers, right. of course. And we see ISVs coming more and more. Uh, what is your view on uh, ISVs coming into all of that for MSPs? You know, I, th I think the interesting thing about that is that the ISVs in this whole transformation to cloud first, mobile first, some of them have really struggled to get their, their products and their services to market because they were really good about developing software and that sort of stuff before, but they had the, the big companies to rely on. Exactly. Now they're having to go more direct and through service providers. And I think Cloud28 Plus really helps them be able to find the service providers they need to work with and get their message yeah. out to the market. This is absolutely right. We have seen some uh, some software vendors, and I'm thinking of one, Lequa, and the Lego, uh, Lego Identity. Mm -hmm. This is a Swedish company, and they wanted to reach everywhere in the world. And through Cloud28 Plus, immediately they had the reach with the CEOs of 30 service providers right. in a few clicks. Right. And as a service providers running in Equinix Data Center, they need to yield their infrastructure. Right. So the more the content is coming, the more they can differentiate. Absolutely. So this is, uh, so you know, we are thrilled because uh, today we have uh, nearly 30,000 services published there. We have 550 data centers which are all public cloud with you. Yes. But you represent a lot of them, by the way. I think a couple of hundred of those data centers are ours, so that's all right. Yeah. So, this is very, very good, and we look forward for a continuous co collaboration because uh, the venture has just started. It went fast, furious, yes. and I want to happen, this to happen very, very quickly. Absolutely. I think it's, I, we're excited, and we're excited about the future. Thank you, Dave. Thank you.